guess which chat I accidentally sent it to. I'm like legitimately crying. Good morning from Oregon. Last day of the road trip, last leg of it. I'm just getting ready, um, actually doing my makeup because as you know if you've been watching this vlog, I am making a main channel video while I do the whole thing. Otherwise, don't think I would do my makeup to sit in a car for six hours. This is the little area that we stayed on this property, the river lodges. They're just these cool little cabins. This property is enormous. It has like what look like townhouses and houses you can rent, like all this stuff. It looks like the hot tub is back open. Gotta say, I highly recommend this resort, Sun River Resort. It's just so nice. I feel like especially for the price that we got, it was like 200 a night. Continuing on this trip. at a gas station to finally clean off the window. Oh my god, these strawberries are so good. And the blueberries are from Oregon. They're grown in Oregon, so I feel like they're gonna be amazing too. That's one thing I like about superchargers is this one is making a stop out of Fred Meyer, so out of grocery store. So you can get way healthier snacks or just like real food if you want. Rather than a gas station, you know, you've got like your candies, your chips. There's not really like that many healthy snacks. Oh dang, okay, so it says we're gonna be able to go 138 miles two and a half hours to the next one. That's a good stretch. I forgot about my vlog camera for a bit because I've been making a video with my main channel camera. We are like 15 minutes away from me and Monica's parents' house right now, so we'll see Cow in a little bit. Yay! Embarrassing story. I'm in this group chat with a bunch of people who are like big on Snapchat. Honestly, I never look at the group chat, but I get these notifications for it and I was Snapchatting Sam a photo of myself. I just looked excited and I said, when you get to see Cow later, and guess which chat I accidentally sent it to. The group of people who are gonna be like, who the fuck is Cow? And they were like, send us a picture of Cow when you see him. Very much in Washington now. Monica's driving. We are both just so freaking tired. I can't believe it. I just wanna like go to sleep already. Okay, we finally made it back. Here's Teddy. Cow has been just so excited. Oh, hi, Cow. It's too bad our neighbor won't cut these trees, which like honestly completely block the view at this point. <laughs> hi, oh, you're still a little bit excited. Oh, they're so happy. Let's go see the bathroom. There's been a lot of work done. So here's how it's looking. They got the new tile in, which definitely looks way better, way more modern. Tile on the floor I think looks good. Matches nicely with that vanity. Personally, I don't really like these lights, but as long as like, I guess a buyer at the house likes them, then that's cool. It's definitely feeling better in here than before. More modern. Okay guys, we made it back. We got Cow to take him back up. We're gonna stop to get food, but it's such a pretty day here. Oh my God, I'm so happy that it's like a nice day that we got back here. It feels like summer here, kind of, which is awesome. Oh my gosh, this is the first blue sky sunny day i've seen this view it is pretty gorgeous you can see the mountains over there wow did not sleep well i really never sleep well here so coffee oh my gosh coffee in bed with this view love it just having some oatmeal for breakfast obviously just getting back in town i don't have any fresh fruit but i feel like some peanut butter makes it a little more hearty <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is Sunday. I just finished working out. It's a beautiful sunny day and I have a ton of packages downstairs, I'm sure, from being out of town. So let's go grab them and unbox some stuff. As you can see, we've got quite a bit of stuff to open. So you know, <laughs> I'm getting the box cutter out. This made 
a lot of comments in that other vlog i feel like i should have my own box cutter like merch i just hype this thing so much because it truly is life-changing first thing is some stuff from blue land i'll show you guys so they sent over the soap that i have at the palm springs house shout out to blue land for sponsoring this vlog i'm so excited because i love their stuff so this is the cleaning spray this is like the bathroom one basically they come in these little tablets and you fill it up with water let it dissolve for a couple minutes then you're good to go and start cleaning so it cuts out a ton of the packaging because when you order refills this is all you need it's pretty amazing i love it so i'll show you guys let's make the bathroom cleaner very simple to make all you do fill the container with water then basically we just drop in the tablet here oh it smells really good it smells like roses kind of you actually don't have to shake it or anything you just wait a few minutes for it to dissolve and it's good to go ready for cleaning so i'll make the rest of them so i have them all good to go <laughs> I appreciate how they smell really good too. Last but not least, the hand soap. Ooh, also smells really good. And this, I'm gonna keep here by the sink. Wonderful. We'll just continue to let these dissolve, but as you can see, I have glass and mirror cleaner, bathroom cleaner, and multi-surface cleaner. Blue Lamp believes you can have it all with everyday products. They're convenient, they're easy to use, and they're safe and effective. Their products are vegan and cruelty-free, and obviously good for the environment. You're not wasting as many plastic bottles or anything like that. Like, you just have one that you will have until the end of time. Really unlike typical cleaning products, all you need with Blue Land is a nickel-sized tablet. So when you order your refills, that's all that you need. You're not wasting as much plastic. It's also just more cost-effective. A tablet is only two dollars with Blue Land, so it's really only like two dollars every time you're buying your new cleaning product products or hand soap and I'll also say they smell really good and you guys can get 15% off blue land if you use my link in the description box go click that link if you want to get 15% off the cleaning essentials kit that I'm using here next I'm sure you guys can guess what this is it's a Brita got replacement filters I just got this kind of Brita I know there's different kinds I've gotten that other one before that's like the really big kind and it's actually just more annoying to fill up since I'm pretty much the only one that's gonna be using this this one seemed way more convenient sweet I ordered these really pretty ripple glasses. I'll link these below. I'll link everything below. I love the style of these, like iced coffee in this. Doesn't it look nice? I'm a big fan. This company packed sent me some clothing, so they gifted me this. So here we have a little sweatshirt kind of deal. Material is really nice. This is a jumpsuit. It's kind of like an oatmeal color, but I like how simple it is. I could totally see this on like a nice summer day. Ties at the top. Just a zip up jacket. Probably be good for traveling. Or like, honestly, this would be good for like playing golf. Got a few more things to open. This is just a liquid iron supplement I like to take from time to time. Just because like my body tends to get low on iron. Taking this for like a week, I get so much more energy if I'm feeling low on iron. And I was kind of feeling like that recently, so got that. But anyway, consult a doctor if you think that you're low on iron. Don't listen to me on that, but that's what I like to take. Basic oven mitts. From Ikea. I, I just like it to be simple. Nothing crazy. They're just basic. They're probably like two dollars. Last box. My bedside lamps. I've been really excited for these to get here. The lamp. Let's go place it. So there it is. It's simple, but it's modern. It kind of reminds me of these like mushroom style lamps that like mid-century, I need to get this. Like I was saying, it reminds me of like a mushroom lamp. Since it's from Ikea, these are pretty inexpensive. I think they're like $35 each. So I got two of them and I think it looks really good with my bed and nightstand. So I'll go get the other one. 
So that is how it's looking. You definitely need to get like something here too, like something on the wall because it's a little bit plain, but I love the minimal vibes. Overall though, this room isn't done. It needs just a little something more. I tend to be more minimal in how I decorate, but this is like, I think a little too minimal. Just needs a little more. I'm basically ready to shop. Just gonna like throw my hair in a ponytail or something, but currently starving. Need something to eat. I also want coffee. I feel like shopping, it requires energy if you're actually shopping with some critical thinking. I just went and got veggie grill. Um, I also picked up coffee. Like I said, I feel like I need it today. My eye, can you see how much it's watering? I'm like legitimately crying out of only my right eye. I'm gonna have to bring freaking tissue with me. Yeah, okay, let's go shop. I did shop a little bit the other week at Zara, so I'm gonna drive to an Aritzia because they probably have different things. I feel like I looked through all the Zara stuff. Gosh, it's so nice having my car here in Seattle. I'm actually inspired to get some better outfits for some videos so that I like dress nicely in them in a way that I am not like embarrassed of. I really don't want to resort to these like crop top cut off jeans type of outfits but it's sort of like what I know and what I have and I need to replace that with something just better. So let's go. Okay traffic. If they had an Aritzia downtown, I definitely wouldn't go all the way to University Village, but we're at the University of Washington right now. A really humongous school, a good school. Yeah, I have a mile to go and this is like some LA traffic over here. Part of the reason I want to shop, like I said, for videos, but also because I'm going on a trip tomorrow to Scottsdale and it's with a bunch of creators that I've never met before actually. So Shopify is hosting this sort of creator summit. It sounds so cool. I'm like honored to be invited. I'm really excited, but I'm realizing I'm like, okay, I want to be someone who dresses nicely and plans out actual outfits when I'm going on a trip and I'm excited to wear them. First impressions are important. I just want to look put together more often because I feel like when I was a nomad, I was not. I I've researched what I want to buy, watched a bunch of YouTube videos, gone on Pinterest. Highly recommend doing that. I've done this in the past. I try to just recreate the outfits that I see and I like and try on different styles. You just have to try stuff on and take your body type into account. Like I have a short torso and long legs. Personally, I think it's tough to shop for, but I think everyone has their qualms with dressing for their body type. It's just like tough unless you have like a model body, I guess. But uh, yeah, I don't. Okay, made it. I'm gonna leave this vlog camera here and just get some shots on my phone because it's just, just so annoying to carry around. I feel like I'm gonna have my arms full with stuff to try on anyway, so we're leaving it. Okay, I will show you guys what I got from Maritzia. Only a few things. I always try on a ton of stuff, but I only like like two or three items typically. So the first thing was just basic black bodysuit, but I really like this because it has adjustable straps. And I used to have a black bodysuit and I loved it. I thought it looked so good, but the strap broke. It was from like Princess Polly or something. And then I got white boyfriend style jeans. These are really comfy. They're kind of like cropped at the bottom a little bit. I love a pair of white jeans. I feel like it really mixes it up. It doesn't look like you're wearing denim as much. I feel like it looks a bit more put together, but it does make me nervous because like white. <laughs> 
And then I also got these white effortless pants is what they're called. Yeah, they're just like flowy white pants. I feel like they would look really good with the striped Zara top that I have. I seriously need new shoes. It's like embarrassing how nasty these shoes are. They're really gross. Definitely not going to wear them tomorrow. I low-key want to stay in Seattle and walk around, but I'm also like wanting to hang at my parents' house because it's literally like not going to be theirs anymore soon. I feel like it will be fun. Well, I still can. Thank you.